It's making me emotional. I'm not gonna get emotional. I'm not gonna cry. Hello friends, it's LC. Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are returning, welcome back. Friends, today is June 14th and it is a sad day in the BTS world because a couple of hours ago, BTS announced that they will be taking a hiatus or not so hiatus, <laughs> depending on if you ask Hybe. So this feels all the more impactful, my video today, where I will be doing an unboxing of the BTS Proof album as as well as reacting to the new content around Proof, including three new songs, which are yet to come, Run BTS, and For Youth. I was planning on doing this reaction <laughs> on the day that the album came out, but Indigo, which is the company that shipped my album, had other plans, so I did not get this in the mail. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. <laughs> I did not get this in the mail until yesterday. And then when I went to film yesterday, my mic cable was broken. So it feels like destiny a little bit that I am reacting to this today on the day that BTS announced that they are taking a break as a group for an indefinite period of time. Cause I feel like this is just gonna hit so much harder. <laughs> And I don't know if I'm ready. So for the format of this video, I'm going to share my thoughts a little bit about that, the quote unquote hiatus. I use that term loosely. And then I'll be doing an unboxing of Proof, which is the standard edition that I have. And then I will be reacting to the new songs where I'll be reacting to the yet to come music video and then the two lyric videos for the remaining songs. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a like if you do and subscribe to my channel. So today when I heard the news about the quote unquote hiatus, I honestly wasn't surprised. I don't know if it was because I was just like in the middle of a really busy work day <laughs> when I found out the news, but I don't know. I just, I kind of just thought like, yep, like that makes sense because they've been together for nine years now, training for longer, you know, the creation of their individual Instagram accounts earlier this year. Proof being announced as an anthology really felt kind of like an ending point or at least the end of an era. And then when I saw that J-Hope was announced as a headliner at Lollapalooza, I was thinking even before the announcement, I was like, okay. It's happening. So I mean, technically, according to HYBE, they are not actually on hiatus and this is just a break so that the members can rest and pursue some solo projects. So, you know, they'll be back. But you know, I'm kind of happy for them. I just want the best for them, you know? And it seems like from what they were describing during the Festa dinner that they do need a breather. So I just want them to be well, I want them to be happy, and if this is what they need, then absolutely, I 1000% support it. And I really wish them the best, especially if they were planning on taking the hiatus right after Map of the Soul 7, because, you know, two years is a long time to wait for a hiatus when you were planning on taking it two years earlier. So, you know, <laughs> while I'm kind of sad, I really am happy for them and hope that they have a nice and restful hiatus and then really pursue some projects that they are passionate about but already so let's get to the unboxing of this <sighs> so after the day that i've had today <laughs> and this announcement that came out today required for my beverage of the day a stiff drink and a stiff drink i have <laughs> This is the Cottage Springs Beverage Company Vodka Lemonade Strawberry Flavor. And I am putting it in my Yeti to keep it nice and cold. Mm. I honestly taste zero lemonade and just only strawberry, <laughs> but it's still tasty. Okay, so now let us get to the unboxing of the album. See what's inside. Alrighty, so we have a plastic sleeve that is protecting the album. And so it looks like it opens at the front. Here we are. Oh my gosh. It says we are bulletproof. You use this to pull the book out. Oh my goodness, there's a lot in here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to angle this appropriately, but looks like we have, oh dear. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to put this down. Looks like at the front we have the CDs. It's like a big sleeve. And then the track lists are listed below each of the CDs. 
And then next we have a sleeve here where there is a photo print of Jimin. I'll hold this nice and close so you can see it. It looks very elegant. And then Jimin walking away. <laughs> And it looks like there's several photo cards in here. So it looks like we have an individual photo card for each member that all matches. So here we are, or we have each of the photo cards here. All of the members wearing, you know, similar outfits. And then Jimin. And then for the individual photo card, I have Jungkook and he is holding what looks like a uh, photo from Persona. So I love that, that they included like the previous albums as part of the photo cards. Definitely gonna be adding that to my string lights. So that's it for that sleeve. And then next, it looks like we have a photo book here. Oh my gosh. <gasps> so it seems like it's going through all of the different eras where it starts by saying the art of proof. And then there's words like identity, reflection of youth, and then has the BTS ARMY logo. And it looks like there's like a fold out poster almost that says beyond the scene. Wow. <laughs> this is kind of like trippy. Oh, and then there's a page of all of the different albums. Oh, <laughs> so it starts with too cool for school. And then there's a page for each album and then the date of the album at the top. Ooh, and we have some really nice photos from some of these eras in between. Oh my gosh, this is bringing back so much nostalgia. <laughs> and then we have Love Yourself Answer, which this poster is just on my wall up here. <laughs> then we have their most recent albums of Map of the Soul 7. We have Dynamite, Bee, Butter, and Permission to Dance. Oh, and then there's some kind of like photo clips of some of the different pictures from the era like hanging. Oh nice, so this one is almost like different milestones where it mentions some of their different tours, some of their live performances, some of their records. Oh, and then <laughs> we have a list of all of the tours that they've done. Ooh, and then there's photos from some of these tours. And for the Love Yourself tour, it has the dates and the locations that they visited. And then there are online concerts as well, like Map of the Soul 1. The speeches they've given, such as the UN speeches and their UNICEF speech. Oh, <laughs> I love these pictures. And of course, their 2021 UN speech. Oh. <laughs> and then it says at the end, the best is yet to come. And then we have some more, you know, prints of all of these different photos from the different eras. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, try and get nice and close. I love it. And then a similar one that we have in black and white. Oh, and then there's a quote from RM saying, you guys are the proof of our existence, our value, our breath, our love, our peace for everything. You guys are our irrefutable proof. So we were the bullet and you guys are our proof. And now we are truly bulletproof. So RM was already dropping hints <laughs> at the concert last year. And then it just says, we are bulletproof. Oh, I love it so much. It's going to make me emotional. <laughs> I cannot even imagine how OG armies are feeling today because I've been in an army since 2019, which, you know, feels like three years feels like a long time, but it really is not in the grand scheme of BTS. So yeah, I feel for OG armies today so much. Okay, next... Oh my gosh, we have more. Interesting. Okay, so we have another photo book here where we have some concept photos from this album. And of course, they all look absolutely stunning. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but I will kind of make any <laughs> comments or observations as I go through. Ooh, I love these like futuristic outfits and then pairing it with like the necklace. Oh man, Jimin with the chest out. <laughs> Ooh, I like RM with the red hair. I feel like a lot of these photos are kind of out there already, but I've just been very busy <laughs> and have not seen many of these yet. I was also kind of trying to avoid some spoilers just for the creation of this video as well. Oh man, Jungkook has so many piercings now. It's amazing. <gasps> Yoongi. <laughs> 
he looks so ethereal oh my gosh i love these pictures i'm obsessed Ooh, and then we have v with like the furry blazer <laughs> oh and then we have more of the light colored pastel outfits man hobie is just like beautiful <gasps> I love it. I love these like gauzy blazer jackety <laughs> type of things that they're wearing. See that kind of just drape over their shirts? Yep, stunning. Then just this very last picture of all of them. They kind of look like ghosts in this one, which makes me kind of sad because it's almost like they're fading away. Okay, <laughs> and then we have our third photo book here, which says epilogue. What do you mean epilogue? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> they have all their shoes and their names on top of the shoes. Hmm. So these look kind of like some behind the scenes photos and a bit more from that first photo book of them kind of like, almost like they're putting together a scrapbook or something or, you know, developing photos. I'm sorry, but just, Yugi just looks like an absolute angel. It has to be said. <laughs> <laughs> I like this of, of JK. And then we have some more photos from the kind of like gauzy type of shoot here with the pastels. And then more from the dark leather type of shoot. Like they really gave a lot of pictures in these photo books. Oh no. <gasps> oh gosh. So it looks like each member has a little bit of text here. Maybe it's just like their thank you message. <laughs> Yungi's is so long. So oh, I will definitely have to look this up after the fact. And then we just have a credits page at the end here. I feel so spoiled with all of these photos, but we're still not done. We still got lots to go through here. So it looks like we have a booklet with all of the lyrics of the different songs throughout the album. Oh, okay. And then we have a poster. Ooh, this looks large. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, here we go. Might have to just roll my chair back here for a second. So this is the poster. <laughs> I'm trying not to block V. Now let me get a proper look at it. Yeah, this is a massive. I wonder if this is bigger or as big as the posters that were in the Butter albums. You know what? I'm gonna check. A few moments later. Dang, okay, so the poster is actually even bigger than the one <laughs> that was in Butter. So lengthwise, it's I would say about three quarters of an inch longer, and then width widthwise about an inch. So slightly bigger. And that is it. Now we have an empty box. <laughs> So all the photos, all the content in this was absolutely amazing. And so I'll put this on my shelf, I'll hang up my photo card, and then we will get to the song reactions. Later. Okay, so now we have arrived to reacting to the yet to come music video. I have managed to avoid all spoilers for this. <laughs> So I have no clue what to expect and I'm really really excited to be hearing a new BTS song finally. Okay, so let's go. Ooh. Wow. Was it honestly the best? Cause I just wanna see the next Put it on each in Oh no Yeah the past was honestly the best But my best is what comes next I'm oh. playing now for sure Can I have it to me back to get you and the best moment is yet to come Oh my gosh the vocals in this Ooh Beat. Yeah. <laughs> Taehyung with his suit in the desert. Oh. <laughs> this is making me emotional. 
emotional. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I can't handle <laughs> all of these lines. Like starting by saying, was it honestly the best? Because I just want to see the next. Diligently passing through all our yesterdays so beautifully. So really like reminiscing on what has come so far for BTS versus what is yet to come. Saying, yeah, the past was honestly the best, but my best is what comes next. And it really makes me happy that this is a sentiment that they're sharing in their music because you can imagine, you know, after the success that they've experienced that they might feel like, where do I go from here? What do I have left? But for them, all those achievements aren't the only things worth celebrating and that their future, or perhaps there might be a little bit more normalcy, <laughs> is worth celebrating as well. And Jungkook saying like, we just loved music. Like, you know, like that was what was propelling them forward. Uh, and this line just breaks my heart. Promise that we'll keep on coming back for more. But okay, <laughs> let's keep going. A young boy. Oh, never walk alone. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So many throwback references. And that's so interesting of, oh my gosh, and then <laughs> the butterfly. Holy cow, there's so many Easter eggs in this. I'm sure someone has put together a whole list of Easter eggs in this video. But when Yugi came in there, I was just like, <sighs> RIP. <laughs> Pretty much any time my bias just says or does anything, I'm weak. But I'm excited. I feel like a Shugo part's coming up. No! The beret. Oh. Yes, Namjoon. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am just way too overwhelmed. But man, this rap by Yoongi saying that uncomfortable title we were given one day, we were still abashed by being called the best. You know, I just love music. Nothing has changed from back then. Where, you know, they're saying that despite all these accomplishments that they've received, they still feel like they're the same people deep down. And that all of this hasn't changed who they are fundamentally. Like with Namjoon saying, I'm 13 years old again, spitting bars just like I did back then. Oof. And this line from Hobie, we ain't about it, the world's expectations. Hmm, interesting. And the train, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! All of these references, it's crazy. I'm so overcome with emotion. Oh my gosh. So are they on their way to their next destination? Hmm. 
<laughs> and where it all began in the bus. Oh. All the symbolism in this, I just like, I can't. And it seemed like in that moment they were really kind of reflecting on where it was that they came from. But <laughs> I am just too overwhelmed for words <laughs> and it's interesting that this is called yet to come the most beautiful moment because it does kind of feel like a song from an earlier album almost like from the most beautiful moment in life or from like you never walk alone it was almost kind of like spring day vibes but yeah this is just like hitting so much closer to home knowing what i know now where i just feel so excited for them that they are excited for their future you know and they just seemed like so blissful at the end of that video like just kind of at peace so obviously <laughs> i'm very conflicted as a fan because i would welcome more bts content with open arms but only if that is what they wanted so if this new path is what they want and what they're excited for that just makes me so happy for them <laughs> so this is so touching so beautiful i I have no words, <laughs> just adored it from the bottom of my heart. So next we are going to be reacting to Run BTS, which I have no clue what this is <laughs> and what to expect for this song. So we're going to be watching a color-coded lyric video here. So let's get to it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this feels like a throwback song. Oh, those harmonies. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Doing vocals here. Oh, the song is like groovy. Ooh. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> need to take a break before we get into the sugar rap so again here this song is kind of similar where they're really reflecting back on their time to yet to come but in a much different way where they're kind of talking about how far they've come and everything they had to do to get to where they are saying so, you know after school the company calls me i'll go right away please don't send me home of like you know <laughs> the terror of pre-debut and of being worried about making the group or getting cut and sometimes i dream of that day i shut and open my eyes and part of this does also kind of feel like too cool for schoolish of that kind of rock hip-hop vibe and you know references to being in school and that sort of thing so I'm loving the feel of these songs really going back to their roots but let's get to the sugar rap ah okay let's go oh Oh, hold on, hold <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, I have... <laughs> I was not following any of those words, so I need to go back. Because he was just spitting absolute fire there. <laughs> Where he's saying, I was right. It was raining in the studio in Nanhyeongdong. The word that I promised myself to open up a Kang Soju and talk about my life. If we succeed, you guys are dead. Reason for BTS success, I don't know. We've all run like crazy. Whatever you say, it's up to you. Here's the answer. So again, those, you know, humble beginnings and saying we've all run like crazy. But okay, now RM's part. We Ooh. Feels kind of like dang. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> Those vocals from Jen. Two bare feet are our gasoline. Oh. All their vocals here are amazing. Ooh. <laughs> uh. auto tune. The song is just like gnarly in the best way. It's got like grit. Oh, that was so, so good. I love that each member's part in this song felt so distinct. And that's one of the things I love about BTS is that each member is just so unique. So, you know, there's no doubt at all <laughs> when Suga's coming in versus RM versus J-Hope and the vocals are just spectacular. Jin hitting some of those high notes and then Jimin at the start of the song. Of course, those powerful vocals by V and then some really like soft parts through from Jungkook, like right before J-Hope's part. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> I'm a fan. I have a feeling I'm gonna be listening to this one like on repeat. <laughs> and I just love that they're celebrating, you know, what they achieved in the kind of effort and grit. Like it really captures that grit that they had to put in to be so successful. So I enjoyed it. Oh, but now we are at our last song, which is for youth, which makes me kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't want this to be the last song because you know who knows how long it's gonna be before we have another BTS song so I really want to just like savor this <laughs> and bask in its glory and we're gonna listen to For Youth <laughs> mm. oh no no Oh my gosh, this might get me. If I never met you, I'm the most. Oh, so it's a ballad. Are they talking about army here? Ooh. 
Are they talking to each other here? Oh, gosh. All those strings. Oh, I made it so far. I was, oh, I was convinced. I was like, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna get emotional. I'm not gonna cry. Oh, I'm not crying. You're crying. At first I was kind of asking, I was like, okay, is this a song for ARMY? Is this a song to each other? But I feel like it's just, I think it's a song to everybody. Like just cherishing everybody who's been there for them along the way. With like a special place for ARMY, <laughs> but it feels like everybody else too. Okay, <laughs> so I'm gonna try to say this next part without getting like too emotional. <laughs> but just them talking about like, <sighs> shoot. <laughs> okay, just them, you know, talking about how they'll be there for you when you need them and that they'll be waiting. Like it really does feel like during the pandemic because the vast majority of my BTS fandom has been during the pandemic because it was just May 2019 that I became a fan. Like there were some shitty, shitty days during the pandemic, I'm sure, for so many of us. And I don't know what I would have done during the pandemic without BTS. So just like hearing them say that and like verbalize that <laughs> just like brought up a lot of emotions because it does feel kind of like poetic, at least for me in terms of my fandom, that they are taking this hiatus like right when it feels like life is somewhat going back to normal and really is back to normal. Oh, so it just felt like... <laughs> two and a bit years worth of emotions just piling out because BTS just helped me on so many dark days during the pandemic just their music their content you know run BTS bringing so much joy and I know that I'm not the only one and that there's millions and millions of army out there who feel the exact same way but again we're not talking about BTS as if they're done <laughs> and that they're gone just gone for now but friends oh <laughs> I feel like I just purged so many thoughts and feelings in this video. And while things are still really raw, you know, it's only been a few hours since the announcement has been made. I feel like over the next few days, I'm sure I'll start to feel, you know, even more happy for them that they get to have this break, that they get to, you know, really pursue their passions. So I'm excited for what's yet to come. And all three of these songs were just so different and kind of harken back to different eras of BTS. Where Yet To Come just felt so tender and then Run BTS was just like a classic hip hop banger. And then we had the beautiful, beautiful ballad in For Youth, which I feel like I cannot emotionally listen to <laughs> for a while. The pain needs to subside first. But uh, I'm just so thrilled with these new three songs and couldn't be happier with the fact that these are the three songs that we have 
for now until their next comeback. So I hope you enjoyed these songs as much as I did and enjoyed this reaction video as well. I also want to give a big thank you to my $5 patrons who are Aurora, Aaron M, NJM, Jem, Hope to Dust, Jennifer O, Kirsten, Lisa H, Rancid Barbie, Rochelle, Sarah B, Tiffers, and Vikos. If you would like a shout out at the end of every single one of my YouTube videos, as well as early access to my YouTube videos and exclusive content that I cannot post to my channel. For example, I have my reaction to BTS's crosswalk performance. So if you'd like to support me and check that out, you can visit patreon.com slash Lauren Claire. So who knows <laughs> when I will be back with my next BTS video, my next video covering maybe some of the solo content we will have to see but I have a feeling it'll be soon <laughs> but until then I hope you're doing well I hope that you're staying safe and taking care of yourself I'm sure that BTS would want you to and I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day